everybody also here and happy bionicle day didn't really have any ideas for a video but um i kind of decided that you know i'd want to show off my bionicle collection everything i've accumulated for the past uh, a little more than five years i joined the community in 2016 so i've been slowly collecting and building my my bionicle like collection and i think now it's almost complete if not Complete. I'm missing a few sets, but not really anything of value. It's just the play sets, really. So, just wanted to show that off. And yeah, let's get right into it. Off the bat, when you enter the room, you're greeted with this shelf. This shelf is basically the start of my collection, quite literally, because right here, this is the first set I got when I got back into the community, was this new Vok that I got off of eBay from in like 2016, I guess. Yeah, this was the first Bionicle set I got, and of course, when you get one, you want to get all of them. <laughs> you know, it's really funny that I started off the collection, I just wanted to finish 2001 to 2003 sets, but... Yeah, I ended up getting a lot more than that, and it'll be more apparent lately, uh, later in the video. Yeah, so this new vlog I got for $5 from eBay eBay, I, I was, I used to sell stuff on eBay, like that I would, um, that my parents would give me to sell, or just stuff that I didn't really need anymore, like old video games, and, you know, eBay gave me a coupon for five dollars to say, go hog wild, because you make us a lot of money, so, yeah, I, I decided just to buy that bow rock. I don't know why, though, I, I think it was maybe just like a childhood memory, I was like, oh yeah, like, Bionicle was cool. Um, yeah, here, this is the shelf with the Tomata. We have the Tomata, Toa Nuva, with Protodermic Mask, by the way. Very expensive, but actually, I only paid for like two of them. The, the Kaku Nuva and uh, the, the Kakama Nuva. Those are the only ones I paid for. The other ones I found in lots or traded for other masks with uh, people, like on BC Power, for example. We have the Fantoka, we have Kopaka in the front, and and Todd. Well, that's kind of like a running theme as I park on the left. It's just uh, just to show them off, like the progression of them. And of course, we have the the two recent, like not recent, but like uh, this was the last Todd release for G1, and this was the Todd release this year. They're cool little sets, and um, yeah, I put them on because I knew, you know, they're. They're, they're basically, like, Tahu over here is basically a G1 version of Tahu. So I was like, you know what, it seems fair that he's on the shelf. Also because, you know, I paid like a hundred bucks for him, basically. Uh, they'll say it's free, but, you know, you paid a hundred bucks for it to get him. Unless you were smart and waited a little bit and got him, like, uh, for like, I don't know, like 20 bucks off of Bricklink or something. Uh, here we have the Rahi. Uh, it's very cluttered and also very dusty. You're, it's going to be very apparent in a little bit what I mean by that. Uh, a lot of like all the canister, uh, not the canister, the box Rahi for 2001, some combiners, some um, sets are like where instructions online you can build like this grasshopper and, and the fire uh, frog over there. Yeah, this is a ton of Rahi and some other stuff. We got the power pack here. I got that for like 40 bucks actually like two years ago. And this Fiku spider poly bag I got as well for like five bucks. Uh, another thing to note is I have the Creator 3-in-1 Tiger Skull here. I, I just uh, I just didn't really care for the Tiger, but I did like the Skull. I thought it was really cool, so I decided just to leave that up. It's like mounted on the wall. We also have some, you know, some of these uh, alternate builds and combiners. I have like a little like snail guy here. I call him Snailin. Inside joke. Monus crabs are buried underneath there. Oh, and here we have the Borok shelf. We have, of course, the Borok Queens, Kodok, and Godok. This one is Godok, and this one is Kodok, I believe. And we have the, the Borok Ba in the front, and we have the Borok. I have uh, one standing and one ball mode for the regular Borok. And also because these are army builder sets, I felt like, you know, it'd be cool just to have multiple of them. They're also not that expensive. I remember, um, I, like, back in 2017, I got all six original bull rock for like 20 bucks just because I parted them out on Bricklink. And it probably could have saved more money had not uh, used those rubber bands. Uh, the rubber bands are expensive. <laughs> on, on the lower shelf, we have the Rakshi. Very dusty, by the way. Look at that, ugh. Yeah, the Rakshi, some Kanoka. That is a complete 
uh, Krana collection, by the way. That's the entirety of the Krana from the original first wave of Borok. Not the Borok Va, just the Borok. Yeah, the, so that I had display for a while. If you're ever going to collect something, you want to have a complete collection of something in Bonacle, go for the, the Krana because they're very cheap. You can get like a lot of them for like 50 cents. Uh, yeah, and this I'll show you guys after. This is uh, my mask collection. I have two of them. Here we have the 2004 sets. We have the Matoran, and we have the Toa, and we have uh, some 2005 stuff like Itongu and the Haga in the back. Not much to say about this. I do like, I think the Toa Metro is like honestly the best build and uh, Legends of Metronomy was my favorite movie. So I was like, you know what? Uh, I want to give something, show something for the Toa Metro, one of my favorite Toa teams. We also have like a little Lee Con, so I guess 2006 as well, because as we know, this is canonized to be Turaga Lee Con. This disc, search translucent red Kanoka disc on Bricklink right now. Pause the video, search it on. I took a Vakama disc with printing on it and erased the printing. And right now, I have one of the most expensive Bionicle pieces for like, for like a dollar, basically. And we have a complete great disc collection here. I, I bit the bullet and got the red one. That's the like most expensive one. I paid like 40 bucks for it. Ugh. Uh, and that's on the cheap side, actually. And we have also the two Vahi, the rusted one from 2003 or 2002, and the flat dark gold one, the original. Uh, I built this little display because I thought it'd be cool. <laughs> and on top we have the, the the Barnacle villains from 2004, the Vaki. Oh, we also have a Dream Builder here, as you know, that's a, a bootleg Lego series. Uh, a bootleg. It's inspired by Barnacle, so not really a bootleg of Barnacle. It tries to be its own thing, but it really it's heavily inspired by Barnacle. So I guess not really a bootleg. Maybe a knockoff. I don't know. Uh, we have uh, Ultimate Duma here. I'm not calling him Turaga Duma. Turaga Duma is right there. We have Ultimate Duma right there. He's probably the the best part of the shelf. I love him. He's great. He's awesome. And with these uh, with these leg extender joints on his arms, he actually has more friction, so he can even hold the Toa Metro. And on to the next stuff. All right, in the closet we have a display shelf with Brutaka and Vizok and Fenerek and the Cardus Dragon. I have, yeah, I have both of those. We have Valika, uh, we have Matoro, Takanuba, Jawler, Matanui, the Paraka over there, some vehicle sets actually. This is for uh, Takanuba, and I think Lesvik's in the back. I can't really get that the position. Let me see if I can. I can see it from here a little bit. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but you're just gonna have to trust me that I also have the uh, Lesvik's vehicle, even though it's stupid and doesn't really serve any purpose. We have the Dagger Spider and the Lava Hawk there built those for fun uh, yeah just all the Toomari by the way Toomari Holly she was my first Bionicle set and uh, I wanted to do this one justice so I got uh, two green Vizorak and I removed their joints and put it on Holly so now she has perfectly non-cracked lime green joints and <laughs> I love that about my Holly in particular but I knew he kind of sits here would click I think it's knocked over. Uh, I put him back on the shelf one time and didn't really fix him. Oh well. Yeah. By the way, Yuki Mari is still my favorite. <laughs> Toa Mari. And this display shelf over here has a lot of my Mars Mission sets because back in the day I was a huge Mars Mission fan. About like 2007, 2008. Never really cared for the second wave though, but I, I love the first wave. I had the Eagle Command Base, and now I don't have the Eagle Command Base, and I have the Mars Mothership, which is the one set I did want as a kid. So ironic how that works. Uh, but this is not really a Mars mission video. Yeah, here we have some bionicles. So we have Gresh, we have a Scrawl that I got in a lot one time, and it's just, just chewed up. I don't know, like a dog, I guess, chewed it up, and uh, I kind of just keep him there. I don't have any other scroll, by the way. That's my only one. Vastus, a set I wanted as a kid, but never got. It's kind of cool though, honestly. Uh, not as great as I thought. Honestly, I'm happy I just got modded Nui. We have the Exito. There's one Exito in here, one Exito there, and one Exito in the back right there, as you can see. But I'm jumping the gun. I have more, but I kind of just left them in the basement. I was filming a video, and you guys aren't gonna see that video for a few months, by the way. Uh, we have some Duplo bricks here, just uh, two Bob the Builder ones I got from a set. And also, this one that I got from the Lego store when it opened up by my house. 
there was a building event, but it's, that store's closed down. Uh, blame COVID, I guess. We have uh, some Baraki over here as well. Also, this is Toa Jovan. I built him recently on stream. He is like the, he was the, the Toa combiner for 2006. Not so bad. I just, if you leave the tubes out of his arms, like he's a pretty okay set. His, his chest really juts out though. I don't really like that. Not great though. Just avoid building him, honestly. He's dead, so who cares? Uh, we have Takadox. We have all the other Baraka. We have Kalma, Elec, Carapar, uh, Mantax, uh, Prydak is right there. Yeah. And um, some little playset builds as well there's also a, what is that that was about to say lebron james no that is a shack minifigure right there i got him in a lot and i was like oh that's cool <laughs> um anyways we have um Ernak, we have trinuma we have botar in the back yes i have botar as well on top of the card's dragon and also axon is there because uh i just like to uh build bionicles to candy characters uh, we have, speaking of canon characters, we got Helrix here, we got, uh, what's his face, Krakua, and we have all the Viserac, and, uh, we have Rudaka and Sidorak right there, and Sidorak, I don't know what kind of pose I put him in, he looks like he's proposing, and, like, Rudaka's like, ugh. <laughs> so here we have my 2001 Rahi combiners, we have Nui Kopen, we have the Tarkov and Nui, I believe he's called. We have that, that rat Rahi, the giant one with Malaka and Kane Ra. We have the one with uh, the Manas crabs. I don't have the mask on his nose. In fact, he's probably the most incomplete one I have. We have uh, the Stinger Whale. That's uh, some of the sets from 2007. I think I have the complete collection for 2007. We have those, uh, that that one Rahi that swims in the Mari movie. Oh, we have the Toa Terrain Crawler and Kongu sits on top of it. And uh, yeah, we have also the that combiner, the the new Ijaga combiner. That's the bird. We have Top Duck here. So yes, I do have a complete uh, order Mata Nui, like all the like the buildable sets I have. Basically, we have um, what's his name? We have the the Japanese combiner, Borak combiner, and on behind them we have. Whoa. Okay, excuse me. But behind them we have. Uh, what's his face? His name is Gladiator. He is... Gladiator is a Dark Hunter, actually. And I am not showing him off. Sorry, I cannot see the screen. <laughs> That's Gladiator. And he's a piece of junk, okay? He was basically the last Dark Hunter I built. You know, I didn't realize that. This is stupid. These are built by little kids. Yeah, but he's a canon uh, character. He's from the same island as Krekka, apparently. Big set, cannot stand on his own. He's basically being supported by the wall. Clack we have. He was a polybag from 2008. It's kind of the reason why I wanted Brickmaster as a kid. We have the, the Viserac Nui. We have the Makuta Nui. I know it's not called the Viserac Nui. We have the Makuta Nui that I built. He's holding an Evoki. I didn't even know I had an extra Evoki. That's cool. Uh, what else do we have? We had Takua, Puku, and Jawler, I believe, is there too. Yeah, he is. Uh, it's hard to see a little bit. Yeah, there you go. We have Takuta Nuva. Uh, I, not only did I build Makuta Nui, I built Takuta Nuva. Ugh. We have Taka Nuva from 2008, and we have a Mazika in the back. It's kind of hard to see, but you're just going to have to take my word for it if you can't. Yeah, so we have all those sets, all great stuff. And basically, that's it for this closet, but I do have some other things I want to show as well. I, in this corner where I keep my DVDs, I have all different kinds of DVDs for like TV shows. Uh, Foster's Home, Practical Jokers, uh, all the fun stuff. Uh, I have this little corner where I keep some more Bionicle stuff. I have a Makuta that I built on stream. This is the G2 Makuta, never officially released, but the instructions were kind of put together by, I believe, TTV and some other groups. Um, so yeah, thanks for them for doing that because now we I can build a Makuta and I did, and it's, it's pretty cool. He's not bad, I, I like him. Uh, we have here, some of the Comic Cons uh, masks. We have the Skull Scorpion and Translucent Lime Green and the Clear Howl. Also, on top of that, we have Tahu's Cape because, yeah. <laughs> we have um, a Pearl Gold um, um, Skull 
grinder set uh, mask i don't know we have tahu master right there or master yeah master and we have pohatu master they're they're both for sale on my ebay store i kind of just have them and right here we have a mask of toa hordika vakama it's apparently a, a voice changer one i never tried to use it but i kind of just have it sealed in the box speaking of that i have a Rituka shield because uh i thought it was cool it was like four bucks on amazon might as well get it uh I, I would just run around with it and pretend it was like a shield and like smash things into it it's pretty fun <laughs> i'm 24 years old by the way and here we have um not really anything of note it's just a vakama pillow basically this Vakama pillow I got on, on eBay for like 15 bucks. It was just there. I thought it was cool. And um, yeah, that's about it. I did, of course, um, I did, of course, wash it after, uh, before, I mean, when I got it, I washed this. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, it's just a fun little throw pill. Uh, you know, pollen season, we just got out of that. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, I, just a display, a barnacle display I got for like a hundred bucks. Um, <laughs> it's just Tahu, the protector of fire, I don't even remember his name. And that's their like combiner form that's non-canon. And we have a little gold Tahu mask in the middle right there. These were sent out by Lego to like stores like Toys R Us and, and Target. And they would, you know, display it in the stores. And, uh, you know, they're supposed to be destroyed after, but some people just take them home. I guess people just take them home now. Why would you destroy Lego, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, whoever took it home, he sold it to me for a hundred bucks. And, like, honestly, that's a great deal, especially because these things go for like $200. And here we have just my parts for my bonacles, mocks, and stuff like that ton of like just barnacle arms and legs and things weapons and torsos and feet probably should downsize on that honestly i have way too many arms pieces hands arms all different kinds of stuff great great stuff we also have some technic pieces here just some wheels like some connectors thin lift arms uh some lime green joints that aren't cracked or just barely cracked. The friction or, or these leg extenders, Matoran arms, all different kinds of stuff here. And yeah, that's really it for this. I guess there's one more thing I could show though. This is my mask collection, just extra masks that I have that I can use for mocks. I have like a lot of O1 stuff. Not necessarily just masks, I have like also spines, like I have this extra Urnax spine for some reason. Uh, yeah, just a ton of masks here. Some rare, some not, mostly not rare. Just like extra masks I've collected over the year that I thought would be cool to use for other characters, like mocks that I make. Uh, here we have some just displays. I have, this is, uh, what's her name? This is, this, oh, Lariska. Yeah, Lariska that I entered for the Duck Bricks contest. I kind of beefed her up a little bit. I improved the legs just a bit. Um, I gave her also that little thing, that sword on top of her head for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, didn't win, of course, but um, I'm really proud of this. Honestly, I thought I did really good with the head. I thought that was one of her strong suits. Uh, we have my, my Toa self mock, and we have a little um callan esque style version of my self mock right there uh yes anyways we have uh the raka whatever t something and we have Takua and this 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 poly bag this bird poly bag that i got back in like a few months ago uh it's a cool little build honestly i only got it for like five bucks uh this is the this Takua is built in the style of the, the Tahunga mock, the articulation mock that Wombat Combat made. So check out that video. I know somebody asked me about it, but I never responded to them. Uh, here I have a lava board that I built in the style from the one from the Mata Nui online game. Uh, I thought I did pretty well, honestly. If anything, I would change is actually have these be black, but I didn't have those parts. So I was like, eh, whatever. Uh, nothing really here anyways, just some system parts here. Eh. Uh, oh, uh, I have a ton of black pins also. 
I've just been collecting those over the year and I have a lot of them. It's great. I can use it for mocks. And here we have the Lewa and Pahatu. They're, these ones are more articulate. They have um, neck articulation. They have like longer leg articulation. Their legs can go out further. Uh, Lewa actually, his arm can like go up and down. Just some like little stuff I did. His, his arm, by the way, is like only like five cents on Bricklink. So it's not really any big deal to cut one. In my parts anyways. Um, here we have the, the AliExpress parts, like the masks. Uh, yeah, also I should note that this this uh, Krakon, it doesn't have like the black fuzziness that the other one does, the, the actual Krakon. And also it's, um, it's, it's a lot more shinier. <laughs> That's it. That's all I wanted to say about that. Here I just have a bunch of parts, more parts, uh, mostly bionicle parts, like extras, like bow rock pieces here. Some uh, sealed bags, like for example, sealed bags of like sets that I kind of just keep sealed because I don't really need them. Uh, here I have, oh, here I have actually some characters that I use in animations. For example, this is the Chris that I use in the Oni Plays animation videos. Uh, this is unnamed character who I haven't used yet, but uh, I mean, he's always available if I need to. We have, uh, I kind of upgraded Lyle so he could have like arm articulation now. I didn't really use Lyle that much. I probably should, honestly, he's a good guy. Uh, just some um, like random pieces that I think would be cool to use for mocks and building mocks out of. Some... Oh, okay, actually, this is my... In here, I actually have a complete collection of Nuva mask, all the recolors I have. Uh, I used to have them on display, but I don't anymore because uh, they were getting dusty and I hated that. So I decided just to not uh, keep them out. I just keep them in this place so they don't get any more dusty than they need to be. And uh, this shelf, I believe I have my Ding Dong mock and my Takanuva mock. Yeah, this is Ding Dong from Oni Plays. <laughs> His uh, little character, little alien character. Um, anything else to really note about this is also the fact that I have a complete Krana call collection, a Krana Va collection. Uh, let me try and get those out real quick. Here we have the Krana call and the Krana Va, just complete collections of those. They're pretty cheap to actually complete. I believe, uh, I paid less than a hundred dollars for the complete collection just because, uh, I had a lot of them already from like part lots that I got and, um, yeah, I didn't really spend that much because I had most of the, the masks already. Uh, overall, I think uh, the the Krana are probably the easiest things to collect in the Bionicle uh, series. If you want to collect anything, like you want a complete collection of Krana, I would say go for it. They're not that expensive, but I don't know. I haven't seen the prices in like maybe two or years now. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Just some more parts over there. Uh, like base plate there as well. Also, this magnet I got one time in a part lot. It's just a magnet. Works. <laughs> uh, here we have my 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 setup for um, making my stop motions and also my other videos as well. Now uh, we have here the the Tatarock that I built a while back and also featured in, a, in its own video. And we have here we have um, the the Hero Recon team leader with that with that beautiful marble chest plate. I, I built him up a little bit. Uh, probably gonna make a better style mock of him though. On the bottom shelf here, I have just a bunch of Bionicle sets that I just crammed into this drawer. For example, I have this, this Gresh stars in the stars type of armor that I built as like um, my version of Gresh stars. Not as great as you might think. It's um, it's, it relies heavily on Greeple, so it's probably going to be very hard to animate with this. Look, he's already missing one of his back fin things. Uh, I do like him, though. I think he's great for posing, but that's about it. I have, um, look at this, I have a Rakshi Stars that I built. This is like the first one I built, and um, definitely could use some work on it. And look at that. We have right here the bootleg, the one from the, 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 shorts, the YouTube Shorts video. <laughs> he's just he's just chilling right here and we have another bootleg here we have 
Irony in pearl gold and modded green. It was a bootleg that I got off of Russia. Uh, wild berries, I believe. Yeah, for like five bucks. It was a cool little set. I have a set of a Bionicle character built entirely out of broken parts. <laughs> I actually have him as a community post on YouTube and also I have him on Instagram, like a more detailed shot of him. But yeah, because I had like a ton of broken Bionicle parts, I decided just to uh, build this character. Uh, I, I, I really like him. He's cool. I also have a Next 2.0 right there. I, I uh, He's also on Instagram. Just check my Instagram. Uh, I have an Umbra here as well. Uh, he was actually... He's one of my favorite uh, Titan sets. This is probably the best part of this shelf, though. Is my misprint Borok. Here we have uh, a Tanok with uh, the pa uh, the Parok. The Parok call uh, face shield print. So he's, that's not the right shield. Look, he has like the, the brown Borak Calls shield like right there in the middle, but he's supposed to have these, you know? And actually, this is a good example because look, he has the, the Tanok Calls uh, face print. So he, see, he has the proper shield thing right there. That's what he should be having, but he doesn't. And uh, yeah, so he's just a cool little misprint that I have. Uh, here we have um, a Hordika a Hordika party uh, thing. It's like goes on top of a cake. Well, we call them, we, there was like an old meme in my, um, in my group uh, of immediate friends. We used to call him Cake Topper because uh, he's like, uh, he's like a red, he's like a red Matau. Look at that. He has Matau's head. And uh, yeah, we call, he's call him Cake Topper. He's just a fun little thing. I used to have displayed on my desk, but then I removed all the barnacles because I didn't want to have toys on my desk anymore. And I think that's a fair thing to say. And here we have my uh, computer. This is my computer. This is where I work and everything. And on top of that, I uh, overlooks me is my Bionicle collection of, for example, 2007 Titan sets. I have all the 2007 Titan sets here, some miniatures like the smaller sets like uh d car and the whatever creature that is we have uh Ogle defilic we also have um my white metal corona right there and we have the mask of life both versions 2008 and 2009 version and uh this whole they like sit on a pedestal that lights up yeah or okay yeah it does light up all right i was kind of confused yeah that's that's about it we also have a little elec here with two lightsabers <laughs> on top of that we have the makuda shelf and we have all the makuda from 2008 and 2000 and the one makuda pterodactyl 2003 also have a book back there makuda's guide to the universe because why not uh, we also have the, the makuda released in the new lego set because we know that represents makuda and he's like triumphing over mata nui <laughs> we also have Akmal here with a resin printed black noble Rao with uh, the pearl gold Krakon and a five hole Krakon. If you actually don't know about that, there was a misprint of the, the Krakon with only five holes. It's, it's supposed to have six holes, but it only has five. I guess it was released in 2003. Uh, yeah, that's about it for that. We also have the only known Bionicle Duplo piece here. It was given out at Legoland, of course, and uh, it was just for the Barnacle Tea Cup ride, Barnacle Blaster. And that was given out, and uh, I got it for like a dollar on Bricklink. <laughs> on top of that, we have the the Dark Hunters. We have we have Centrac, we have the Ancient, uh, that's this Ancient. We have the Shadowed One, we have Volparak, we have Conjurer, and we have Eliminator. Of course, Gladiator. Should be there as well but he's not because he takes up way too much room and he looks ugly but basically these are all my the, all the dark characters i thought that could um easily look good on a display honestly if you're gonna build any of them just build ancient he's cool he's a cool little guy but if you want to like build one that's actually like still alive i would say go for the shadowed one because he's cool yep and that's about it for this on to whatever else 
And right here we have basically any Bionicle set that I couldn't display on the shelf is going to be right here. We, we, there's like a ton of sets here. Like you can see Samad and uh, the Toa and Nika. And we have the the Tornadus, I believe. There's that. We have, oh, a pit mutated tortoise right there. It's a lot of sets here. Nothing really notable, just like um, sets that were too big to display or just canister sets like down here. We have Galu right there. We have uh, Holly and Nika. We have Ronas. Mostly just Glatorian and canister sets that I didn't really want to display uh, because I don't have the room to. One day do, though, I hopefully am looking forward to like being able to display all of this stuff. But right now they're staying in these dust proof containers in a closet, so they're pretty safe. Uh, here we have just the Scopio and the Axolara. They're really big sets. Uh, they're just, yeah, no, there's no way I can have room to display these guys. They're just way too big. So they also stay in the closet. Okay, it's, it's time now to round off on the G1 sets because I don't, like it, there's literally not, nothing else to show after this. This is it. Yep, I need two of them. I got two of them for like 10 bucks actually on eBay a while back and I'm really happy I did because it allows me to show off my entire collection of these masks. Look at this guys, I got the entirety of the Bionicle mask, yeah, woohoo. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was so stupid. Um, yeah, basically, I just, well, okay, camera, work. All right, so we got all the Mata masks. We got the Pearl Gold, we got the Silver, we got Red, and we got the Tohunga versions as well all like just basically down here every single one of them uh i'm pretty sure these are every single one of them minus of course the any you know actual ones made out of precious metals like the the evoki or the how the 14k how yep but basically have like all the moda mask here and any other recolors really that were given out like the ones that were included with the with the what are these called the rahi sets and um, we have uh, the Legoland Miru, and we have the Silver Haunuba. And these two masks, look at that. I got the, the translucent blue, the, the light translucent blue cow cow, and the, the translucent yellow cow cow, the European misprints. Yep, I have a lot of European misprints. I have all the European misprints for uh, these as well. Oh wait, where's this one you might be asking? One sec, let me get that one out. Just to prove it that I do have the mask. Uh, it is in this cabinet, and it's all the way on the bottom of it. There we go. We got th that one here. I was using it for a character. I didn't want to buy another one. When you look at the price, you'll know why. Um, yeah, I have all the Taraga recolors as well. And I, I have some ones you might not even know why they're here. Like, um, like for example, why do I have two... Why do I have two copper Hunas? Also, I've been doing this entire video with the AC on. I gotta refilm it. And to round off on G1 sets, might as well show off the collectibles that I got. These are all the masks that I got from 2001 in here. Or any from 2002 as well, I guess. So we have those, those are the Matas. And now we have, whoops. Now we have, oh no, a mask fell off. What the heck? All right, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, there we go, we got all the masks. These are the Mata. These are the great and these are the noble. 
So of course here we'll start with the model from Rares. We have the, sil um, the gold and silver ones. Tahu, Kopaka, Kopaka, uh, Gali, Lewa, Anua, Pahatu, and just recolors. Like the one included with the Muwaka, the one included with Takanuva's bike, the Takua, the one that included with Nujaka, the ones include the one included with the Tarkava, Nuparu, or the other one was it called the Rai Master Set. We have um, the Power Pack Cow, we have the Legoland, Miru, and we have these two more European misprints of the Cow Cow. Um, we have the translucent light blue and the translucent yellow ones. Uh, we also have the European misprints for the, the noble version of the mask. Great little sets to own. Um, great little masks to own, I mean, sorry, they were never, well, I mean, I guess they were released as a set, some of them. Uh, this one was released with the power pack. This one's released with the, with the, um, the clock. And uh, yeah, <laughs> there's a bunch of noble masks that were released back in the day. Now you might be wondering why I have two Hunas here. Um, so yeah, the, the copper versions of the masks were released as the Komau. By the way, I got this one for free. <laughs> and um, it's also, that's the hardly the most expensive one here. Um, yeah, so why do I have two Huna? Well, there's a good reason for that. If you give me one second, I'll show you guys. All right, do I have? All right, that does show off pretty well. So look, we have the light here. And if you put that up, look at that. The copper is different with the mask. Look, so we, they're both copper, but the, like one of them glows and one of them is just completely dark. And that's really the only reason why. And also the European one, the the one that is light, I believe, the one that the light goes through, it came with the Komau, so I didn't buy a second one. Um, but, and, and they don't even go for that much anyway, so it's all right. So yeah, I have a complete collection of these masks and I'm happy to finally own them. Also, I don't know if I have like talked about this, but I also have the Jet Racks right here with all the Offmatorn from 2008 and the, the, the Pearl, well, not Pearl Gold, but the yellow, the yellow, Jet racks, it's right there. I built that recently. And that's also the reason why I don't have a Tola Mata Nui because you know what? Tola Mata Nui, Tola Mata Nui is just this. That's Tola Mata Nui, okay? When you have that, you basically have Tola Mata Nui because that's the only reason why people buy Tola Mata Nui. And the only reason why they released like, a, like the most expensive Lego set was because they don't want like people, they don't want to make that many of these, like, you know, the really important mask for uh, people to collect. Like, why not just release it in a poly bag? That's why I'm kind of happy they figured that out in 2015 or 2016 or whatever, when they made like a million poly bags with the Mask of Creation in it. Anyway, here we have the next part of my collection, my G2 set. I have every single G2 set fit in this container. Anything that basically had a, a Bionicle piece with it, I collected it. Every almost everything well. I'm missing like some, I'm missing, I think I'm literally just missing one thing and that is the, the Lego house version of the the dark blue, translucent dark blue mask of water. That's the only thing I'm missing. But look, I have an extra Comic-Con one because maybe one day I'll sell it, who knows. Uh, just, yeah, ton of sets. Basically, take my word for it. This is every single Bionicle set that was released from 2014 to 2016, I believe. So, yeah, this is just a ton of Bionicle sets because, you know, this was released in 2014, by the way. Uh, like foils, of the, like the Polish release of, of those sets, a bunch of masks. I actually have the box for, um, what's his name? Uh, the, the Lord of Skull Spiders right here because I got him sealed. I got him like sealed for 15 bucks. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, some of the lesser known poly bags as well, like this, uh, this pearl gold skull, like, helmet thingy. And, uh, yeah, uh, uh, this was like, this, this collection wasn't actually as expensive as you think, because I finished my collection right on the cusp of the, the Russian-Ukrainian war. And in Russia, if you look right now, 
G1 sets, uh, G2 sets are extremely cheap. They're really cheap. And I was able to complete my collection just by getting the sets from Russia. Uh, the problem is though now because of the war, um, you can't really buy anything from Russia. It's really hard. I'm sure there are ways, but if it's not through BrickLink and PayPal, it's, I don't even really want to try, honestly. But yeah, this is basically my, the entirety of my G2 collection is all here. One day, I do want this. If I could only display one thing, it'd probably be this, this G2 collection. Like behind like, um, I don't know, an Ikea Billy bookshelf, the glass one. Because that would be nice to not have to worry about dust. But it's good that they're kind of just in here right now because they're away from the sun. They're away from dust and they're fine and they're they're great they're they're cool some parts are bending because you know they're all packed on top of each other but nothing that can't be bent back into shape or replaced you know um they're not very expensive so yeah i'm happy to have a complete g2 collection hopefully uh, i'll have to start making room for the g3 collection because we know for a fact that that is coming back eventually whether we like it or not uh, Lego is going to want to keep that IP. But yeah, guys, this is basically the entirety of my Bionicle collection. Everything here. I do want to do a proper video on my mocks one day, though. That is going to be another video, though. So right now, this is just a collection of basically like officially released Bionicle sets. Just think of it that way. Thank you all for watching uh, this video. I made this video just to show off my Bionicle collection. I'm not gloating or trying to say that I'm better or anything like that. I just wanted to show off my Bionicle collection because uh, that's what all the cool kids were doing, like Duck Bricks and Callan. So, yeah. Um, it's, it, a, a complete Bionicle collection, honestly, was something I've always wanted as a kid. And I'm happy to finally have one, even though I'm like 24 right now and uh way too old to be collecting toys but it's whatever uh yeah so thank you all for watching and and also thank you by the way for helping me get the 3,000 subscribers i really appreciate that honestly i wish i did a proper a proper the subscriber special but um just didn't really get the chance honestly it's already it's like already at 3100 now so uh we'll wait for like maybe 5,000. we'll do another subscriber special but maybe a contest i don't know something we gotta have planned something for that anyways sorry this was impromptu it's probably not the greatest quality but i tried to do the best i could and i don't really have a lot of time until bionicle day is by the way if you're watching this on bionicle day i succeeded and happy bionicle day if not sorry <laughs> anyways uh thank you all for watching and yeah bye by the way this is sunny like this, this is the guy. This is the guy who's always so freaking loud. Sonny, say something to the camera. Aw.